everybody welcome back to my channel um i the mail just came today and i'm really excited and i wanted to do it on camera to show some of the awesome things about a company i really love um these are from beam paints they are made uh by a wonderful indigenous woman in canada uh they are handmade paints um and one of my favorite thing about her about her paints and her company is that they are made plastic free um she has a little subscription that you can set up for one two or three months uh where every month you get something special and uh i was very surprised to see this one um these are size 8 and 12 travel brushes and i think they go well with their plein air gouache set that i also ordered so i'm really excited to open these up on camera so everything is plastic free from this company with the exception of a couple things one of them will be um their brushes um these are two of their different size for brushes um one is you know slim and narrow and the other one is wide and they're both really nice um but they are nylon and nylon is going to just last a little bit longer than um natural fibers so that's one thing and then just the, the caps that go over them so these i'm excited to see i've never seen these before i don't even know what they look like Ooh. oh those are chunky boys that is the size 12. that is a nice hefty paintbrush And it's snug. It's not going to come out. It's not going to fall off. And this would be the size 8. These are really nice. And they have a wooden barrel. That is awesome. I'm very happy to have gotten these. I bet you these are definitely going to be my go-to travel brushes. As I also just don't have very many travel brushes in general. So that's pretty exciting. And that was a part of the Team Beam August Mystery Pack. Uh, I believe there are other options when you sign up to get trios or something I don't remember but if you go to their website um, as beampaints.com it'll be on there and I, I signed up for the mystery pack and I have not yet been disappointed so there's that uh, this is the set that the stones that I ordered um, I am currently working on collecting these are all those stones that I have um, right now, if you've seen me on my Instagram, um, I'm making a very large um, mixing chart of beam paints, of 30 of their watercolor paints. And then um, this is just my swatch card for um, the stones that I actually have. So maybe I'll swatch those out too since I just got these. So these are the stones that I ordered. Which, another awesome thing, um, these come packaged in, um, beeswax wrappers made from, um, beeswax from Manitoulin Bees in Canada. These are the stones. Here. So I ordered, this would be Mars Black, uh, I believe this is the, let me pull up my 
what I got so I can make sure that I have them listed correctly. Give me one moment. Let's see. Okay, so this, this one will be iron red. Um, uh, this is silver, gold. This would be Mother Earth green, grape. Nope, sorry, that is, that would be almost night. This one is grape. Um, and then this one, I had another, let's see. Let's find my... Is that the one? Hold on, I'm having some technical difficulties uh, pulling up my... Hold on, sorry. Okay, I found my order forms real quick, so. So we have gold, Mars black, um, Mother Earth green, silver, then iron red, cup and saucer, Kane's gray, grape, and um, almost night. Those are the stains, or uh, stains, sorry, the uh, stones that I ordered. And then there is this um, Plan Air Gouache 15 set that was uh, a limited edition on their website. Let me get there and I can tell you which ones are in this set. Sorry if you heard any background noise, that would be uh, my family hanging out in a different room. All right, so. This set includes these beautiful colors. So we have, going off of their website, Oreo Green, Prussian Blue. Uh, this I believe is almost night which I'm, I'm going to have a couple duplicates and uh, I love these paints, so I'm definitely fine with having some duplicates. Uh, Ultra Gray, Spring Leaf Green, Sky Blue, so this one is a gouache and this is a gouache. Um, Ice Blue, I'm all, pretty sure this one is also a gouache. Lavender, which is a gouache. Milkweed, Gouache, limestone wine, white, I cannot talk today, um, beach rose, uh, this is, sorry, wild rose, beach rose, I th yes, wild rose and beach rose, fall poplar yellow, summer sun red, and bread. So some of these are colors I don't have yet on my swatch sheet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them out. So, all right. And got 
some water and whatnot here. So I'm going to use today, um, I'm gonna use the slimmer number four from Beam for These. So uh, Iron Red. Sometimes, some of these take a little bit to work up, but for the most part, as you can see here, they, we, bleh, again, I cannot talk today, re-wet very well. And this is Iron Red. Now in the future, I have, I'm making swatch cards for all of my watercolors and my handmade watercolors as well. So definitely I will be adding, or 100% making a Bean Paints swatch video. These are by far my favorite watercolors. And if you want to see more art by me or by other people who use Beam Paints, definitely head over to Instagram and check out the hashtag Beam Paints. And I am also, if you want to see, I'm making, like I said, a very large um, swatch sheet of Beam Paints and the colors they can make with their watercolors. Um, Sorry, I got distracted and interrupted. I don't remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about my very large mixing colors. Oh yes, uh, uh, where I take 30 of Bean Paints mixing, or watercolors, and I mix them with each other, as you do with a mixing chart, um, and with solid colors and then a, a lightened down, like kind of pastel version. Um, it's a big project I've been working on because uh, it takes a little while to get each of these. Um, I have to do them in uh, separate batches, obviously. There's a lot of colors and I don't have them and I'm working on it. Uh, so here we are. Yep, so this is Iron Red. Um, next I'm going to do will be Cup and Saucer Ochre. Some stones take a little bit more effort to re-wet than others. Others definitely re-wet very nicely. This one takes just a little bit of coaxing. I think I love these paints so much because they are handmade um, by a awesome company. I think I love them because they're also in plastic free packaging uh, and that is something I have been working on. It's a very long and painful journey for me but to slowly become low la low waste living I'll never be able to completely have be zero waste but I definitely am making it a goal to work towards um, being less wasteful using less package or plastic um, it's, it's a long journey and I think that's one of my biggest appeals to these paints Okay, so that was Cup and Saucer Ochre. The next one I have is Mother Earth Green.
this is a lighter color if you go to beam paints beam paints websites and you can look at their individual paint stones they have um, swatch colors up there with them so you can see how these colors look before you buy them I'm making this because one of my other plans um, I've been looking for a wood box to store my beam paints because that is 100% how I want to do it um, but I'd like to fit this in the lid so. when this is done and I get my box and I can put my paints in there that's where it's going These, uh, the colors I have listed here um, are currently the ones like the ones I don't have. Um, they are the ones that I found off of her list on her website. Uh, you will notice that occasionally when you go there, they're out of colors. And she's also always looking to make new colors. So it could be possible in the future that some of these colors she might not have or their names have changed. I know uh, when I was looking to make another order, uh, the color Hay was not currently listed, and I noticed that also that some of her Mayan colors were not listed. But I'm assuming that is partially just because she has run out of them and is working on making more batches. I did contact her about the Hay color, um, and she said she was also, I think, working on making a gouache version of that and was working on coming up with a name for them so they didn't have the same name. All right, the next color I'll do will be grape. Most of her colors, um, that's it's actually about 50-50 have um, pigments names associated with them um, if they don't I believe it is because it is natural pigments that she has found um, on the island in which she lives so you'll see how bread and cup and saucer ochre don't have pigments but um, grape is made with PV15. Great Ocean, which is her ultramarine blue, is made with PV29. Prussian blue is with PV27. Right, so next, um, I have uh, the silver in or not the silver, the gold. So I have um, I have the gold here, which I wanted as a stone to put in with my box whenever I get one. Um, but for one of my other team beams that I got, um, I had I got these little ceramic turtles. I, I got two of them, so that's where this one is, and. Let me tell you, this is some good gold paint. Um, I have uh, this painting here. Um, I did these with uh, cool watercolors, but this is all the gold from Beam Paints. It's a nice, beautiful gold. Um, another one I did was I did this painting um, with some gold there if you can see it uh, this is all beam paints this is 
the leaves are made with their graphite um, and which is this color here the background I did with slate and I painted the flowers with blueberry mountain so that is that is a piece I did with all of Beam Paints colors. Um, another thing that I got from um, one of the team beams was uh, this is birch. Um, one of the awesome things they do is they make pallets out of wood. And so she takes some reclaimed wood and puts holes in it. And then for some of these little mini pallets, you pour it directly into the hole here. So these are some of the Mayan colors. Um, she has larger palettes as well and different options for different colors um, for pre-made palettes that she has. Um, if you're interested or you're thinking about trying bean paints, this is what I got the first time. Um, this is just a little travel card or dot card um, and it comes with, I think the colors are a little bit different now. Some of the ones um, have magenta on them, but this was $20 and this is how I tried out Beam Paints the first time and uh, I've definitely, definitely used them. This was definitely one of the better ways to go if you want to try them out or um, she has little trio packages so you can get uh, the summer sun red with I believe it's the fall poplar yellow and great ocean and it's a nice good mixing starting set back to swatching so um, we just did grape then I have Mars black and each of these stones is also wrapped in beeswax so there's no plastic wrapping. There's a beautiful black color. I know black is usually not a normal watercolor color, but that that's a pretty black color. I don't care what you say. Alright, next let's do some silver. Oh, no, I'll do silver last. This one is almost night. Going to be a beautiful blue color. I've been eyeing this one for a while now. I believe this is a phthalo blue. Because it is made with uh, the PB15 colon 1, which I'm pretty sure that is phthalo blue. In which, as you can see here, phthalo blue is a staining color. This is Payne's Gray, which I do not have on here, so I'm gonna put it in this spot here. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what is the white stuff on here. I'm gonna try and wash it off. I'll have to ask sometime what it is, but it doesn't mess with the paint. enough so that is I believe like a lighter version of paints gray I'm not 
I'm still very new in my watercolor journey and learning colors. But I think I'm used to being painting paint spray just a little bit lighter, but either way, this is a beautiful gray. I like this color a lot. All right. Um, let's do some of our gouache colors. We will save silver for last, as it's gonna leave the silver specks in the water. All right, so, let's see. Next, we will do um, Beach Rose, which is, See if I can fold this up nice and get closer so you can see some of these. Hmm. Let's do this. And I believe the size of these paint stones are supposed to be about the size of um, a half pan. And I got almost night all all of my hand okay so uh we are working on no we are working on beach rose which is this darker pink color right here This is one of the gouache colors on my uh, chart here. I have indicated colors that are gouache colors by the dot in the upper right corner. That's kind of also a way to show their opacity, which I realize one dot is not enough, but that is really for me to mark it for myself. Um, because later I will make my own swatch cards and I will know which ones are the gouache cards by that as well. Um, one thing I do, for one, I will use a, when I'm cleaning my brush, I use a paper towel, but I will use this. I just tossed one not too long ago. I will use this till it's not white anymore. Um, one thing that I saw from another um, artist on Instagram is take the packaging that sometimes comes with the bean paints and use this, which I've already started doing, which is great. Which, but I mean, before that, I was composting it. That's all I was doing. Um, but I can give a little bit more life to it by using it to clean my brushes and then I can compost it afterwards. So we just did the beach rose. Um, this one is bread. So I already have bread. Um, I have summer sun red, fall poplar yellow, beach rose. This one is limestone white, which I'm pretty sure is a gouache. I'm not 100%, so I'm, I'm gonna wait to do that one because I would really like to get it um, in the right spot here. And once I figure out where it belongs when I do my other bean paints swatch videos, um, you'll see it there. So we're gonna skip ahead to the um, milkweed green. I've also been eyeing this color for a while now. I just got some black watercolor paint that I've really been itching to paint on with specifically with my bean paint gouache colors. So here is milkweed. This is a nice beautiful light green color.
Okay, um, so next we have lavender. Ooh, that one. That wet's really nice. Lavender goes here. Ooh, yeah, look at that one. That's a beautiful color. I think these might be my new favorite gouaches too, which, to be honest, I'm going to say that anyway, but I'm still new to gouache. The only ones I've painted so with so far are um, a Tisa gouache. I do have some Holbein gouache that I haven't touched yet because I wanted to practice and get a little bit better before I opened it. So it's just sitting on my shelf. Okay. Um, this one was ice blue which i think goes in this spot she had a new blue color on her website um that it was said you know still need to be named so it might be that color but i'm not 100 percent. but for the time being that's that's where i'm gonna put it i wrote the name in pencil so if i need to change it or still leave room for another color i have the room for that as we can see here i've got room for Four more colors. I might have to make a second sheet. Who knows? We'll see. That is definitely a nice, a nice blue color. Yeah. Um, next we have sky blue, which goes down here. So one thing you might notice um, as these dry when I apply them you know it, it covers up that dot I have in the corner and as it dries they get a little bit a little bit uh, clear so that way you can still see the dot and this is only one layer you know that'll definitely be different when you start adding multiple layers there's that one and then I already have this color this is the spring leaf green which I have here um, this is ultra gray which is here and then we have already swatched almost night Prussian blue and um, boreal green here so these are my bean paints so far. As we can see, I still have uh, a ways to go. I do have some of these colors in, so like here I have mine yellow, mine red, um, you know, mine blue. But I wanted to save this as kind of like a checklist for car colors that I don't have yet. So once I fill in the square, that's a, one I have an actual stone of. So that, I'd like to keep it that way. Um, these are probably going to stay together in their set. I'm going to make a little kit for them, um, for, you know, to be like an actual plein air travel kit. Um, but I wanted to put them here because if it's a color I want to use, I'll just pull this kit out for now. Um, until I get my box for these, um, right now this is what I have. This is called um, the Getaway Palette. Uh, this is made with um, 
responsibly sourced deer hides, which I imagine that just comes from natural hunting up there. And we don't want to let all of the, um, the deer to go to waste. So that is probably where this comes from. She has a video on her Instagram, I believe, that talks about this. Um, this is just so I know what colors I have in here right now, but I'm gonna put something else in here um, These are the other stones I have right now So I have my growing collection and you can see I'm running out of, out of room uh, so Yeah, these I love these paints so much. I cannot recommend them enough um, I, you know, I like manufactured paints. Like, I have cork watercolors. I love them. I have Magellan Mission Gold, and I love them. Um, but these just feel more to me. I don't, I don't know the words to describe it. I just, I really love these paints. So these will really be my go-to paints. I'm still going to paint with all my other watercolors. Um, but these, these will always be my favorite. So yeah, that is a little quick video, a little bit of unboxing of one of my uh, bean paint, bean paints orders. Um, as you can see from my swatch sheet, that I still have a long way to go. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's uh, if you if you want to give them a try, I really do recommend getting their travel card. Um, and if you want to get something exciting every one, two, or three months, um, definitely sign up for their Team Beam. Right now, as their website is, when you sign up, it is monthly. But definitely don't hesitate to uh, send them an email and request if you want every two months or three months. Um, because they don't have uh, the su subscription set up that way yet. So all you got to do is email them, say, hey, this, you know, I signed up for Team Beam and I'd like to switch it to every three months. I was doing monthly for a while, um, but I switched to every three months. And this was uh, August's for these beautiful travel brushes. Um, I don't know if she will make these available in the shop in the future. I hope she does because these are definitely beautiful brushes. So right now, yes, they have these uh, size 12 and size 8 brushes. Uh, these were the for the mystery pack, but if you want to get some of their brushes, currently on their website they have these two different size 4s. And I also use these quite a bit. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it for me and uh, my little Bean Paints video. Um, at some point in the future, I will definitely sit down and swatch out all of my colors and do a little demo piece with them because why not? I love them. I will paint with them for anything. So, um, yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye.